thing in our today video we will talk about how to open project file and how to show project name which we have created in the last video so our project name was construction of the law of center so let's begin our work on the on the software p6 poemavira so please open the p6 poemavira log in your account admin with my password so go for it will take some time wait In last video we have left here we just created the name of our project construction of the whole center so in this video we will learn how to open a project file and how to show project name that's what your there are two methods to open a project this is our project we can click here or right click then open project this is the one method and second method is go to file and then click on open then select your project our project is lc construction law center then open it here now it's opened now so our project window is opened this is activity this is all other but we can close this window and we are here in our project window and sometimes our project name is, did not show to us so in that case we can go to view go to sort group and sort by and select wbs wbs and check this box to level to level all and apply okay so this is the our project name here are different functions which i want to show you here you can select id code by selecting id code and applying it you can see here your project name id is shown to you here but i will not select it later maybe i can but no need here so i will apply and then okay so i hope it will be clear to you that how to open a project file and how to show the project name in our next video we will talk about defining of wbs wbs work breakdown structure and we will start our actual work we will add different activities in for this project now i want to introduce you about this window of the project this is the activity id mean lc is the construction of law center activity name means if you add activity like uh, excavation filling of earth and others the activity name will be shown to us here so this is original duration of the project or an activity so that how long this project will go for a month for a year or much more then remaining duration means that after actual duration the remaining days will show us tell us about remaining duration and schedule percentage complete I mean how much percentage is it 15% completed 20% or 30% it depends on our actual days completion the next is start start means your starting date of the project starting date of your activity and this is the finish date of your activity or project and total float total float means mm, total number of delays in the whole project is called total float this 
relates to whole project and let's go down this is our bottom window here it is general information about activity about the project this is the status of activity how much is actual work is done or remaining at completion what date it, it will be complete and this is the resource we will add resources in next videos after creation of activities so you will understand it more at that time just wait for next videos and this is predecessor activities predecessor activity means the activity which is connected to next activity let's take an example that activity one is active connected to activity two it means activity one is the predecessor of activity two and successor means activity two is the successor of activity one means that activity two cannot be start before activity one and activity two so on so this is activity id activity name relations between the activity and lag activity status resource name we will discuss it in later in detail uh, here i want to tell you lag is the delay between the activities which is not acceptable in our project sometime we relax some activities that they can be delayed in two or three days but if they delay more than that duration this will be called as lag lag between the activities so thanks for watching this video please stay tuned for more videos in next video we will talk about wbs work breakdown structure and we will start actual work by creation of activities of this project and assigning resources so we will talk it later in next video thank you for watching this video